Generation passes another generation. Story passed down after story. There are stories of great men told and untold, recollected and forgotten. But how often does a slave get the chance to have the great journey of life told? The tale of Josiah Henson, The Unearthed Path of Abolitionism. Josiah Henson, a slave born in Charles County, Maryland, took a stand in history through fighting through African American and Canadian rights and the abolishment of slavery. Through his efforts, he influenced others to fight to end slavery, inspired Harry Beecher Stowe's narrative, Uncle Tom's Cabin, which eventually motivated Abraham Lincoln to write the Emancipation Proclamation, strengthening the big image of ending slavery. Josiah Henson was a slave of the early 19th century, cared for by his mother on a plantation belonging to a man named Dr. McPherson. Henson didn't understand the concept of slavery until his father had to endure whips to his back trying to protect his mother. As a child, he was sold to multiple owners before being bought by Isaac Riley of Montgomery County, Maryland. He served in Riley House and Plantation until becoming a young adult. Through several years of strong production being trustworthy, Henson became an overseer and right-hand man to Riley, while also developing a sense of religion and connection to God. In 1825, Henson was granted the task of transporting slaves to the Kentucky plantation of Riley's brother during a time of hardship for Isaac due to financial crisis. During this long expedition, many slaves attempted to escape. He convinced the group not to flee, even though they could have. As time passed, Henson proposed receiving freedom from Riley in 1829, but only if Riley was to take $450 in exchange from Henson. Henson was later tricked into paying more. Through this and his past experiences as the overseer, Henson decided to run away, preach God's word, and become an abolitionist. As referenced by James Henson, a distant relative to Josiah Henson. And his, when he went to Owensburg, Kentucky, he came back to this plantation uh, at the behest of his owner, who was living here. And he also had uh, wanted to gain his freedom. So he had been preaching, he became an ordained minister, and he uh, made an offer. As Josiah Henson made the run for it, from his master to Kanda, not only did he escape slavery, he laid down the path for a brighter future, for himself and others. Henson had reached Kanda in October 1830 in refuge. Shortly after arriving in Kanda, he went on several other trips in order to help a total of around 200 slaves which is your own path of freedom through the Underground Railroad, being briefly known through liberating them from the treacherous pain they had to endure. He also preached his beliefs of the cruelty of slavery. Throughout his life in Canada, Henson has also came to realize the lack of education in African-Canadian communities. This led him to set up a school to support and encourage the development and education of these communities, inspiring the diverse culture and population found in Canada today. He completed many things in his lifetime as well. He influenced the main character of a text, Uncle Tom's Cabin, where he is portrayed as Tom, a figure that gives his life for those who need it most. Throughout that text, Henson indirectly showed the hardship of slavery to others throughout America and even foreign countries. He also had connections to the creation of the Emancipation Proclamation, as well as the Civil War. Through the subtle connections to Harry Beecher Stowe, he also indirectly inspired Abraham Lincoln to initiate war to end slavery. As Abraham Lincoln said to Harry Beecher Stowe, So you're the little woman who wrote the book that started this great war. It was also through his own autobiography that he provided his own experiences and perspective on his journey to make a better future for himself as well as other slaves. Through the inspiration of Henson and Stowe, through their novels, they were able to take a stand in history. Once again, as mentioned by James Henson, called together, they shook a nation. They really did shake a nation. And they were very um, unprobable. Uh, they were a very unprobable pair that would, through collaboration, combine to have such a powerful effect through the book. Josiah Henson has left behind his lasting impact. Shortly after it went to Kenda, 
As mentioned earlier, he became the inspiration for the main character Tom in the text Uncle Tom's Cabin. It was through his narrative that the cruelty and harshness of slavery that occurred in the plantations could be accurately portrayed. This kindled more hatred towards the pain of slavery that endured during that time. Those impacts took effect during his time, they still continue to this day. He was known for supporting the Underground Railroad while setting the stage for African Canadian communities. Without Josiah Henson, we would have waited longer for someone to start the education and development of African slaves in Canada, where it initiated schools for the young and old to learn. He also, as Uncle Tom, has been able to corroborate and connect the issues and solutions of the past to those of today. With his direct and lasting effects, Josiah Henson has been able to take a stand in history and leave a mark of legacy. Without the efforts and devotion of Josiah Henson, the precedent of abolitionism would not have been able to be established. As inspiration as the main character of the text, Uncle Tom's Cabin, as well as the supporting of the initiation of the Civil War, he helped lead to the end of slavery. Through the perseverance of Josiah Henson, along with other abolitionists, we together, in racial and ethnic equality, were able to form a better tomorrow for us and our posterity to follow. As Josiah Henson once said in his autobiography, I've been enabled to affect for the light which has risen upon me, for the religious privileges I enjoy, for the prospects opening to my children, so different from what they may have been, and finally, for the cheering expectation of benefiting not only the present, but many future generations of my race.